It is 855. Good morning. Here's a live look over the Indianapolis Zoo. We'll get you an update on weather and traffic coming up here in just a moment. But first, here's what's making news this morning. Drivers will want to be aware of some changes coming to 465 on the southeast side. Soon, ramp metering is expected to begin in early May. This is all to improve safety and the overall flow of traffic. CBS 4's Hannah Fullman takes us to 465 in Emerson with everything you need to know. This is a very busy stretch along I-465, and you can actually see some of that new technology here behind me. The traffic lights and speed limit signs are currently hidden behind those black coverings, but that will all change very soon. What we know so far about the new technology is like normal traffic lights. Green will mean go, red will mean stop, but yellow will only be flashing when the lights are not in use during less congested traffic. This section of 465 was specifically picked because of how backed up it can get, especially during rush hour. Now the ramp metering will help regulate the overall flow of traffic and will be used in the following areas. This includes on ramps at Emerson Avenue, where we're standing right now, Southeastern Avenue, Shadeland Avenue, Brook Ville Road and Washington Street. The same area will also see new variable speed limit signs enabling the speed limit to change here depending on the time of day, road conditions, current traffic backups and so on. It's been proven in, you know, various studies um, and in other states we've um, seen a reduction in crashes. Um, and other traffic incidents. Troopers with the Indiana State Police tell us it will take time for drivers to get used to. However, ignoring the ramp metering could result in a ticket. There will be a bit of a grace period, though, to help drivers, of course, get adjusted to this new change. Again, the new technology will only be used during peak traffic times. For now, reporting on I-465, I'm Hannah Fullman. All right, that'll be a change for drivers. I'm used to those out west, but that'll be new for a lot of people here in central Indiana, Krista. Yeah, sure. Well, well, you know what? Not new. Some cold temperatures. We had them around this uh, this weekend and this morning. We're back to temperatures in the 30s, but we are rising again. A lot of sunshine out there. This is a great view on Westfield, and this is pretty much what we look like all around. Life Guardian radar is dry and satellite very clear. Our frost advisory goes for another hour here, expires at 10 a.m., but those temperatures are already climbing out of frost territory in Indianapolis, where we're at 44 degrees. We've come up to 47 in Muncie and 48 in Kokomo, so it's possible we're going to see that get expired here shortly. Temperatures as we rise into the afternoon today, we'll get into the mid 60s. This is better from where we were this weekend and back closer to the average for this time of year. The average being 66, I think we'll be just shy of that this afternoon. We're dry today. More clouds move in tonight. Tomorrow we'll have a few spotty showers around in our northern counties around daybreak. Showers fill in in those northern counties through the morning, then this all dives south as we head into the afternoon. So tomorrow's going to be a day you're going to want to take the umbrella with you. But once this moves out, we're back to more sunshine, but some cool temperatures for the middle of the week. Right, let's get a check of our traffic conditions out there. We do have some slow spots. I-465 and Allisonville Road, very slow going here as we do have an accident in the area. This is at I-465 eastbound. The crash is at exit 35, Allisonville Road, and that camera we were just looking at showing that slowing there. On the east side, we do still have that stalled vehicle, but it's not uh, indicating major slowing from that. That's at I-465 southbound near exit 46, US 40 Washington Street. Otherwise, other areas looking pretty good. I-70 and Shadeland Avenue were smooth going and our drive times. Other than 69 southbound from 116th Street to 465, which is slow, will take you 12 minutes. Most other spots are looking good. Cameron? All right, Krista, Tamron Hall is coming up next, and we're back with more news at noon. Have a great day.